and all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekha HaKwadash, to the Lord, honest to the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone, and the sincere shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth of the sound doctrine. All right. This is going to be a really quick video on um, just a lesson I kind of thought of, you know, and um, not really a lesson, but, you know, I just, you know, figure I bring out a couple of scriptures, you know, as a reminder of, you know, what, what not to be, you know, and um, could I just seen a video um, Apostle Hard did about these two women, these two, what he called them, she devils. Well, these two girls, whatever these two man, I, I'm I'm afraid of calling them what I really want to call them because this uh, you know, YouTube or whatever, you know, it's um always always flagging shit and whatnot and whatnot. But um, you know, these two nigga women, man, you know, they they killed a guy, and um, you know that right there, you know, that behavior is is just. Their behavior is a prime example of what happens when you when you follow this devil's guidelines, man, or what to be and what not to be. This devil's guidelines is telling you what not to be, man. Right? Yeah, you know the devil, you know the Esau has a has a twist. Well, he tells you don't don't go out there and shoot nobody or nothing like that. But it's like, well, y'all doing it. You know? But, you know, of course. When it comes to a situation like that, you other Israelite camps, man, which is why y'all make me sick, man. You you other Israelite camps, y'all ain't going to say nothing, man. Y'all ain't going to say nothing when it comes to stuff like this. Y'all going, like like Apostle Zahar said, man, y'all going to sit in the back and y'all going to act like it never even happened, man. Now, if, now imagine this. If it was 2, 2, 13... Two 12, 13 year old boys did that to a woman. How many people, how many people would have came up and said, man, this is why we need to protect our women, man. This is why we need to protect our women. Instead, man, you know what you niggas do? GMS need to stand on their own dime. They need to stop messing with those 12 year old girls. They need to stop raping women and stuff like that. Man, now look, man, like I keep saying, if we even taught that, now, biblically, we won't, we, we, listen, man, we already been through that. We already been through that. As natural. Males turn, you know, males are grown men when they're 12, 13. Women are grown women. Females are grown women when they're 12, 13. A mindset. Well, it's a different story, man, and that's why we don't condone as a, in this society, no. Because messing with a twelve year old is kinda like messing with a five year old in this society. Because they not they're not raised to be women. You know, that's a what you've seen in that video, man, is a prime example of the mothers, man. The mothers have done a really, really, really good job, man. Y'all have done a really good job with our children, with our young men and our young women, man. Y'all have done a really good job. It ain't no real men out here. Well, who raised them to be that way? Who the hell raised them to be that way? Come on now. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 31 verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots. Right? So it says, woe to you that go down to Egypt for help, man. And stay on horses and trust in chariots, right? It says because they are many. Right, so you stay on horses and trust in chariots. You 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 worship this system because you see, hey, it's flourishing. They got a military. They got the money. Hey, we got this is this is the system that we gotta worship. But the thing is, you never understand. You you what you people don't understand is who set this system up. You think Esau just woke up one day and said, "World domination, let's go." No. Because they are they are strong. It says, so like it says because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Neither seek the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Who's the Holy One of Israel? Mind you. You got a lot of people out there that say the Old Testament doesn't mention Jesus Christ. So 
wait a minute. Who was the Holy One of Israel? And notice it said they, they separated the Lord. You would think the Lord is the Holy One of Israel that this, that this book is talking, I mean, that the scripture is talking about. It said, Holy One of Israel, neither seek the word, or the, neither seek the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. So who would be the Holy One of Israel? Lord Yahweh Shah, man. You don't, see, you don't look unto the Holy One of Israel. And in this society right now, the Holy Ones of Israel will be us, man. The prophets that are out there pushing the work of sincerity and the truth. The 100% truth, mind you. The 100% truth. I'm gonna keep saying that because I know I know how much that makes Jake mad, man. 100 percent truth, right? So you don't seek the Lord, and that's why you tend to behave that way. You know, that's why the Lord had you go in the direction He had you he had you go, and you 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 think those two those two, you know, gremlins, you know, she gremlins. You think those two were seeking the Lord? Of course not. They out there hijacking cars and shit, man. But because because it's because it's the woman, because it's the little girls, you jakes ain't gonna say a damn thing, man. You know, and that's why you again, man. That's why you other Israelite camps, man. Y'all make me sick, man. You really do. You really do. Stop messing with them 12-year-old little girls, man. Come up with something else, man. You know? Let me get another scripture. You people want to continue to worship this society? You know, you, you just keep going, man. I'm talking about you other Israelite, you so-called you so other Israelite camps. ICPK, IUIC, all y'all, all you guys, man. <laughs> y'all ain't going to say nothing. You want to know why? Because they're the queens. They're the queens. Come on, queen. Come on, queen. Tired of hearing that shit, man. Right? Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So there's wisdom and knowledge. It's going to be stability of, 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 of thy times, right? So that's not going to, that's not talking about women. Because you, a lot of you jakes out there, like we're bowing down to your woman. A lot of you, and when you bow down to your woman, you're bowing down to this devil, man. Right? So a lot of you jakes bow down to this devil, man, and thinking he gonna save you. Woe to woe to you that go down to Egypt for help, man. You do not go. You y'all people, oh, that's all y'all do, man, is go down to Egypt for help, man. A lot of you people upset about a stimulus, right? But if you had Lord how about Shmuel Shah on your side, you really wouldn't be worried about all that, you know? Because the Lord would, would guide you in the way of saying, of telling you how to how to you know do your money and all that, man. The Lord will guide you, you know, how to worry, about, how to how to what what to do with money and stuff like that. The Lord is going to guide you, man. But you people think that this devil is going is here to help. You people line up real fast for 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 a uh, uh, a a vaccine if they offer you some money with it. <laughs> yeah, count me in. <laughs> you know. So this was just a short little video, man. Just a, a couple words. You know that you you keep you people keep running to Egypt for help, man. They say a war unto you when you go to the world. War is destruction. War unto you that go down to Egypt for help, man. Woe unto you that go down to Egypt for help, man. Right? I can say that about Easter, because Easter was yesterday, it was Sunday, and yesterday, I guess. You know? Because why? Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We tell you to come out of the ways of this of, of this system. We tell you to put down the pork, crabs, and shrimp, and whatever else you're doing, man. Stop the adultery and all that, man. But you know what you want to say? I was written by a man or you other Israelite camps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before y'all get on anybody else, uh, uh, stop messing with 12-year-old little girls. Come on, man. Or, or whatever excuse y'all got. Whatever other excuse y'all got. All because y'all hate Great Millstone, man. Because why? 
We teach the 100% truth. We teach the 100% truth. And I don't give a goddamn who gets mad about it. Salakia, no. We teach the 1,000% truth. I might change it to that, man. We teach the 1,000% truth. And if you don't like it, then so, so fucking be it, man. And so goddamn be it, man. Because you know what? I like I like making you jakes mad when we when we when I when I say that. We have the one hundred percent truth. Y'all people don't. Nate, Johanna, y'all niggas sold out. The charter, <laughs> y'all got the charter. Y'all sold out. And anybody that follows them, well, I mean, it is what it is, man. Because you still running to Esau for help, man. Instead of seeking the Holy One of Israel, man. Running around here taking corners. You get had a corner. Wanna know why? Because you sold out any damn way, nigga. Anyway, man. You know, low willingness was um and again, this was this wasn't really a lesson. This was more of a, you know, just a couple words, you know. And there's a couple of scriptures I just had on, had on my mind a little bit, you know. Um, let me get one last one, you know. But this is what we got to do, man. And it's the mindset that we got to be in. We cannot trust in this devil, man. And everything you see Jake doing is all because they trust in this devil, man. Right? This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So that's what we got to do, man. We got to watch and we got to pray, man. You know, and it's sad that we got to worry about our own people. You know, I always, always say that. It's sad that we always got to worry about. But I, but the Lord said that, man. The Lord said that's what we're going to go through. You know, I mean, what, why else would we be doing what we're doing, man? But if it was Esau, Esau don't really buck up against us like that. It'd be our own people. Which means what? The Lord is just keep keeping that fight on us. So anyway, man, uh, that's all I had on this. Shalom.